Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm going to show you how to do this really quick and easy double crochet beanie. I'm making this, I made this pattern for the Hat Not Hate movement that is hosted by Lion Brand to support um, a being against bullying. <laughs> so this is two that I made up real quick. I just want to show you, this is made with Red Heart Super Saver Ombre yarn. So that's why the colors are really pretty and different in the ombre. But all you need to know how to do to make these beanies is double crochet, single crochet, slip stitch, and chain, and also how to make a magic ring. Alright, the supplies that you're going to need for this hat is some worsted weight yarn. I'm still using the same skein. It's getting pretty floppy, but I'm trying to use it all up. Of Red Heart Super Saver Ombre. You also need a pair of scissors, some needles to weave in your ends with, a measuring tape if you would like to. And for hooks, you will need an H and a G. The H is for the body of the hat, and the G is for the brim of the hat. Alright, to start, you need to start off with your H hook and make a magic ring. Or you can also start off with a chain 3 and slip stitch it together to form a, a ring to work into. Chain 2. The chains do not count as a stitch throughout any of this pattern. Now make 10 double crochets into your magic ring. So you yarn over, go into the ring, and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through the last two. That's a double crochet. So that's one. You want to make nine more. Alright, once you have your 10 double crochets, pull your small tail to close up your magic loop, magic circle, whatever you call it, <laughs> and then slip stitch to the first double crochet, not the chain. So you would count back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you would slip stitch into that 10th. And there's your first round of your hat. Alright, now the next round is our first increase round. So what you're going to do is chain three. And again, the chains do not count as a stitch. So in this first stitch right here that the chain is coming out of, put two double crochet into that. One. And two. Now, the rest of these stitches you need to increase in. So in each stitch put two double crochets. At the end of this round you'll have 20 double crochet. Alright, so this is the end of round two, and now you want to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet you made. Skip the chain and slip stitch to the first double crochet. Now you have 20 stitches all the way around. Round three is another increase round, so chain three. And into the first stitch where the chain is coming out of, Put two double crochet.
and then in the next stitch put one. So in this round you'll be going up by three so we did an increase and then a stitch. So in the next stitch we increase and in the next stitch you put one. You'll continue that all the way around so you'll increase, you'll put two double crochet and then one, two and then one all the way around. At the end of this round you'll have 30 stitches. Okay, now we're at the end of round three. So again, you skip the chains and you slip stitch into the very first double crochet. That'll leave you with 30 stitches. All right, round four, chain three. And again, in the stitch at the bottom of the chain three, increase. That's two double crochet. And now in the next two stitches, put one double crochet. So on this round, we're going to be increasing in fours. So you'll do an increase and then one one. So in the next stitch, we will do two double crochets. And in the next two stitches, one double crochet each. So you'll increase one one, increase one one, all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have 40 stitches. Okay, now that's the end of round four. And again, you'll skip the chains and slip stitch into the first double crochet. And you got 40 stitches. Okay, now for round five, chain three and increase at the bottom of the chain in that first stitch. So do two double crochet in that same stitch. And now in the next three stitches, we'll do one double crochet each. One, two, three. So for this round, we're gonna be increasing by fives. So in the first stitch we did two, and then three, four, five. So now in this next stitch we're gonna do an increase. And then in the next three stitches, one double crochet each. And now we're gonna continue that all the way around to the end, and you'll have 50 stitches. Okay, that's the, round, the end of round five. So skip the chain and slip stitch into the first double crochet. And that leaves you with 50 stitches. We're getting there, two more rounds of increasing. All right, round six, chain three. And again, increase in that first stitch below the chain three. So do two double crochet in that first stitch. And then do one double crochet in the next four stitches. So here's one, two, three, four. 
So on this round we're increasing by six. So there's two in the first, and then three, four, five, six. So on the next stitch, increase. Put two double crochet there. One, two, and then one in each of the four. Continue this all the way around, and at the end of this round you'll have 60 stitches. Okay, that's the end of round six, so again skip the chain and slip stitch into the first double crochet. Alright, and now you'll have 60 stitches. And now this is the last increase round, <laughs> round number seven. So chain three, and increase in the first stitch, so put two double crochet into the first stitch. and then put one double crochet in each of the next five stitches. That will give you seven stitches, so we're increasing by sevens all the way around. So you do, in the first stitch you do two, and then in the next five stitches you do one double crochet each. So. Now we do an increase, which is two double crochet. And then the next five, we do one double crochet each. Now continue that all the way around the hat, and at the end of this round, you'll have 70 stitches. Okay, and that's the end of round seven. So join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch. And that is all the increase rounds. So this is the top of your hat. <laughs> and now we're going to be doing just some solid double crochets to give the hat some length. So round eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13 are all going to be the same. So for round eight, chain three, and double crochet one into the first stitch underneath the chain three. And then put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around the hat. At the end of row eight, you will have 70 stitches. Okay, so I'm at the, the end of round eight. So I just did one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So now to end that round, I'm going to slip stitch into the first double crochet I made. And that is the end of row eight. Now, for the rows, the next five rows, which is nine through 13, you're gonna do the same thing you did for row eight. So you're gonna chain three, one double crochet at the base of the chain three in the first stitch, and then double crochet all the way around. So do that again for rows nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13, and I'll show you the rest after that. All right. So this is the end of row 13, which was the last double crochet all the way around row. And if you want to look for your last increase, which is right here, you should have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So that completes the complete length of the hat. So now we're going to do a brim. And I decided to do a super simple brim for this pattern so that we could whip up multiples of these hats to donate to the Hat Not Hate. And uh, it'd be quick and easy to just pop out a bunch of them. So what you need to do first is switch out your hook from your H hook to your G hook. And this is row 14. So you chain one and then work one single crochet into the first stitch. And that's just, you stick your, your hook into the, the uh, loops and pull up a yarn. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through. That's a single crochet. And you just do that in every stitch all the way around the hat. Okay, so now we're at the end of row 14, which is our first row of single crochet all the way around. So again, you skip the chain and you slip stitch into the first single crochet that you made. And that is the first round of the brim. And now to complete the brim, you just need to do three more rounds of single crochet all the way around. 
So you will chain one and single crochet into your first stitch and then every stitch all the way around for three more rounds. You'll be ending on round 17. Okay, so this is the last stitch of row 17, which is the fourth row of the single crochets for the brim. So to finish it off, you just slip stitch into the very first single crochet that you made. And that's the last stitch of your hat. So you can pull up your yarn and snip your end. And then we're going to weave in the ends. So this first end, we will weave it in real quickly. There should only be two ends unless you encountered a knot along the way. <laughs> so just, I always like to weave it in. I go through my stitches. I try to get in the middle of them so that the yarn's not showing on either side. I like to do three passes, so I, I go through this way, pull it through, and then I go into a slightly different spot than I came out of, go back the opposite way, just kind of picking up a little bit of each stitch, pull it, and then I turn around and I go back one more time. And again, you don't want to go in the same hole that you came out of or you just pull your yarn out. And then that's my third pass. And I've never had issues with my ends coming out too bad. So then I kind of pull it tight and snip it. And then when you straighten out your work again, it kind of sucks it in there and hides it. So now we do have one more end in here hiding. This is the end that's attached to your magic loop. So you could pull it tight again just to make sure that it's good and tight. And then we will sew it shut. And I do the same thing with these. I, I like to go through it like three different times just to make sure it's good and in there. Sometimes it's a little picky, so it is good to have sharp-ish <laughs> needles. Not sharp enough that you poke yourself constantly, but sharp enough that you can get in between the yarn. Because you don't want to just go behind the yarn. It won't be woven in tight enough. You want to actually go through the yarn so that you can um, get it more weaved in there and even when you put your yarn through this way like this yarn that's in there it's kind of good to go back through that yarn because then if it does start to unravel it'll get knotted up in itself and it won't unravel alright so again I want to kind of pull it tight and snip it and then when the hat relaxes it'll just suck that end right in there alright these ends out of the way. Okay, so there is your finished hat. So it is big enough for an adult woman's head. It fits my head well. I have, my head is 20 to 21 inches <laughs> and it really depends on your gauge on how big your actual hat will be. Here's some measuring for you. From the top down it's roughly 8 inches and then from side to side It's right before the brim, which is where it goes in a little from the hook size changing. It is nine inches. Like I said, I'm a grown woman <laughs> and it fits my head. The hat for hate hats are supposed to be 16 inches to 21 inches, so this would be a good size for that. And so far I've made three of these hats <laughs> out of this one skinny yarn. The colors are a little different because it is ombre yarn, so they kind of you know, blend into each other really well. And I like them a whole lot. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up and share it if you think someone else might like it. Leave me any comments below you think would be helpful. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.